uh, welcome back to the crafty bin. Uh, over here is a project, the last video. Uh, this is curing over here. So if you're wondering what that is, go check out my last crafty bin video. Today, what we're gonna work on is this light up butterfly. And I know that uh, Chrissy is very excited for me to get this done. I think I'm gonna make this black. That's what I'm gonna do for now, is I'm gonna paint this black. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll come back after it's all dried and we're gonna fill in all of these little holes with different color resin so that when you turn the light on like this, the light will come through the different colors of resin and kind of light it up and it'll make it all pretty. I need to figure out what color to put here in this little opening because I'm afraid that the light will come through. I don't know, maybe we could do that after. I'm just thinking out loud right now. Okay, so uh, we don't need to worry about it yet. Right now, we're going to just paint this black so that we can do the resiny once it's dry. So let's do that. Hello, welcome back. So, I have painted my butterfly all black, as you can see, and I think that it looks really good. So here is the butterfly. Now, I really wish that the light was a smidge bit higher so that you didn't see it coming through this section, but I still think it's gonna look pretty neat. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to put some tape right here behind the wings where all these holes are to block them. And then what I'm going to do is fill in the wing holes with resin, different color resin. I don't know exactly what colors I'm going to be using yet. I, I'm just gonna let inspiration take me. But uh, then I'm gonna fill these in with colors so that when the light is shining, it'll make it kind of bright so or it'll kind of like accentuate the colors more at least that's my thought I use painters tape this is not the best quality painters tape I would use something a little bit higher end than the Dollar Tree but it works not perfectly but it works <laughs> the cool thing about the butterfly is that even though the tape may not lay down perfectly straight uh, no one's gonna see the inside so it doesn't have to be perfect on the inside I mean you you don't want to have a big bubble like I did with one of my heart coasters I'm trying to get it so that the edges of the tape don't come in the middle of a wing like right here I mean I'm not gonna be able to do that it's not gonna be perfect everywhere but so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Try to make the seams as seamless as possible. But you're still gonna have the seams, but I don't think we'll be able to really tell that they're there once the resin is in. Because it's not gonna be completely translucent resin. You know, it's gonna be colored resin, kind of like a, similar to a stained glass, but probably a little bit more opaque than that. Wanna make sure that the tape is really sticking to the wood on the underside because that's what's going to keep the resin from moving from butterfly hole to butterfly hole. The butterfly is completely taped. I'm going to put a little piece right there. And then we can mix the resin up and see what happens. 
very excited about this. I really hope it turns out the way it is in my head. <laughs> so what I have in my head seems so cool. So I'm gonna mix up the resin. I'll be right back. All right, let's add some color. So I thought I would do some nice spring colors. I'm gonna do purple. I don't want them too dark, so I'm not gonna do too much paint in each one. I want it to be nice and light. Yellow. Oh, that one might need to be cleaned out a little. <laughs> and uh, Caribbean. Alrighty. Now, mix them up. We'll see if I add more acrylic paint or not. I don't think I will, but we'll see. It may be too light. Yeah, I think I like that shade. Okay, so one drop will be per perfect for that. Yeah. And just the one drop to the, like, seven milliliters I have is perfect. Yeah, that's going to look great. What do you guys think? I think they're going to look great. Yellow is a little thicker, but it was thick coming out, so... <laughs> Yellow's bright, so we may have to be picky about where we put the yellow. But then again, it might be perfect. Am I the only one that like goes between Caribbean and Caribbean? Like I say them interchangeably. Like the Caribbean is wonderful, but it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, is there like a difference? Am I the only one that does that? Now here comes the artistic part where I just plop in the colors. I was gonna do like, you know, like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. I think I'm just gonna do a hodgepodge and see what happens. <laughs> just gonna see what happens. Okay, so the butterfly has been all filled in. We'll let that cure uh, overnight. And then I think what I'm gonna end up doing is putting a top coat of clear over the top of it, since it kind of has like these um, edges uh, that are a little bit shiny. I don't know, we'll see. Or I may have using Mod Podge over the top. I don't know yet. Definitely gonna put something over the top though, once it's done curing. I have a little bit of resin left over, so I'm gonna pour that into my pixelated heart mold. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. My butterfly is done. Now, it wasn't perfect. I mean, it looks good, but it had some issues. So I did a coat on the top that I didn't film, um, only because it was just spreading out clear resin. But as you can see, <laughs> Something must have gotten in the resin while it was curing, even though I put it in this box so that nothing can float in there, but something did. It's having a hard time focusing on it. There we go. Um, but as you can see, I have like this little line here and a couple dots over here, but you only see them at a certain angle. For the most part, it looks good. Now wait till you see how it looks when the light is on check that out. I'm going to close the door so it's dark. Hold on. Ta-da! How cool is that? I really like it. 
I was debating on what to put down here, but I feel like I need to leave it open now that we've done this. But it looks so cool. I don't think I'm going to sell this one. I mean, I guess if you guys leave a comment so that you want this one, then I'll list it. But I think that I'm going to do it again. Uh, I don't know when, though. <laughs> Someday I'm going to do it again and try to get it to uh, what I, like, without the little specks on the front, even though you can't really see them, unless they're at the right angle. I absolutely love this butterfly. I think it looks awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!